Hey everyone, welcome back to the Lakeship channel. My name is Mickey. Today, we're gonna talk about where you are having all of your issues in the warehouse. So I keep getting a lot of my distributors calling me, hey Mickey, my inventory is completely messed up. Every single day I do an inventory count and I'm either super over or super short. What is going on? Well, in my head, because I've been doing this for so long, I know exactly what's going on and that's the topic of this video. But before we get into it, I want you to please like the video, give me a big thumbs up, give me a subscribe. We're gonna try to make content like this every single day. But anyways, let's get right into it. So the number one place where most distributors have all their inventory issues is on receiving. So in the receiving process, you could be shorted by your vendor. Your vendor could provide to you extra product. Your vendor could provide to you the wrong product. Your people receiving the product into the warehouse could miscount the product itself. There are so many different ways you could mess up during receiving that I've only ever seen one way to truly guarantee that you won't make any inventory errors during the receiving process, and that is every single pallet, every single case that comes out of a container, anything that comes into your warehouse must be counted case by case. I've got so many customers who literally take an entire pallet that may contain multiple items and they take it and they inventory it exactly as it came in. So they're literally taking the word of their vendor as the Bible, as truth. And the bottom line is the vendor can make mistakes and they could short you, they could mess up your inventory. And all that yields is a overage or a shortage in your inventory wherein you have no idea where it came from. So my recommendation is take your product off the truck. If it's on a pallet, break down the pallet, repalletize everything, re-saran wrap everything, and count every single item. Then, if there are any discrepancies between the purchase order and the item receipt or the receipt of goods, you need to ensure that that is reported to your back office personnel so that they enter that receipt of goods directly into your accounting system to alleviate the probability of there being any mistakes. The second place where I see a tremendous amount of issues with inventory is during the picking process. So the picker, more often than not, they're hanging out in the warehouse, shooting the you know what with one another, talking about what happened in politics, what happened in pop culture, the new rap song that came out, and you know what they do? They make a bunch of errors picking. They pick too much product, too little product. They pick the wrong product. And next thing you know, you're sending out the wrong product to your customer, and your customer is getting extremely upset sometimes finding you, sometimes even damaging your relationship with the customer altogether. Well, I've seen this over and over and over because between you and I, we both know that the people picking in your warehouse, because it's a high turnover position, it's, it's not too reliable. So what do you do to ensure that you minimize the, the errors on that picking process? Here's what you do. You put a checker, an individual dedicated to double checking everything that gets picked. And you're gonna be like, Mickey, hey, that's an extra employee. It's four or five grand a month for that person. And I'm like, yeah, but your inventory is the lifeblood of your business. You're spending four or five grand a month to alleviate all your overages and shortages to control millions, maybe even tens of millions of dollars of inventory. Isn't that worth it? That checker's responsibility will be to take the pick sheet, the load sheet, whatever the picker's utilizing to pick and double check everything before it gets palletized to go onto the, onto the staging area to go onto a truck. So please guys, please stop neglecting hiring a checker. The checker may be the most important person in the entire warehouse. Number three, where a lot of distributors make mistake is on the adjustment or cycle count. So a lot of people, they walk up and down the, the racks and they count the inventory. The problem is when you don't have a warehouse management system, when you're working on a little piece of paper, you have to count the whole warehouse. So if you see an item, you have to count every single case of that item in the whole warehouse because if you don't, here's what happens. Let's say for example, you're a potato chip distributor and you've got 10 cases of barbecue chips in the entire warehouse. You've got two residing below in a picking location. You've got eight above. Well, if you're walking up and down the bins counting and you count the two below, but you forget to count the eight above, you are going to effectively eliminate those eight from your inventory. So that's gonna create an adjustment of minus eight, okay? And then that product is going to sit in that bin location up who knows where until it expires. So because you didn't count the whole warehouse, because you got lazy and just counted a subset of the warehouse or one individual product, you neglected the fact that you had more of that product over on the other end of the warehouse which means then that your product is expired and that is going directly against your profit and loss. There is nothing you can do, you could write it off all you want. 
you still lost the product and you neglected to make the sale. So overall, it's a complete waste of money. So when you're doing an adjustment, when you're doing a cycle count, you need to make sure that you walk up and down the racks and that you count every single item. Number four, product going onto the truck goes on incorrectly. I can't tell you how many distributors neglect that little process of loading pallets onto a truck. Just because you stage them behind Route 1, Route 2, Route 3, Route 4, Route 5 doesn't mean your people are going to stick them in the right truck. What a lot of distributors do or their employees within the warehouse is that they put the wrong pallet on the wrong truck. And that causes a cascade of problems. For instance, you take, you have orders 1, 2, and 3 on truck 1 and 4, 5, and 6 on truck 2. But you stick a pallet from order number three on this truck over on this one. Well, now when you go out to make your delivery to your customer and you bring in your order number three, guess what? Your order is incomplete. So you, at that moment in time, you have to cut your invoice short. Maybe you have to adjust the entire invoice. Maybe your customer rejects the order because it's so incomplete. Either way, you just lost out on that sale. Again, this is where the checker comes in. The checker's responsibility is to sit there and ensure that all the pallets that are assigned to that truck indeed make it on that truck. Now, once the checker makes this uh, verification of putting the pallets on the truck, you can be or you can rest assured that the truck is going to deliver the right order to the right customer and you will minimize those overages and shortages and those neglectful mistakes that are killing the relationships with your customers. Hey, if you're enjoying all the reasons why your inventory is either over or short, I want you to please hit a big thumbs up on this video, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna try to make content like this every single week. Anyways, back to the content. So now you know the main ways that your inventory can get completely messed up throughout your warehouse, from receiving to picking, to, to loading onto the truck, to counting. The bottom line is, even if you put the right personnel in place, you still have a major problem, which is the fifth thing and the most intrusive aspect in your inventory, and that is data entry of all that inventory into your accounting system. Most distributors, manufacturers, wholesalers, whatever you want to call yourself, you end up having to have multiple people in the back office that hand key every transaction. Whether it be the item receipt, the transfer, the cycle count, the invoice, they're doing everything by hand. Well, anytime you do anything by hand, you could make mistakes on putting in the wrong item putting in too much of an item, putting, putting in too little of an item, not putting in the item at all. Basically, there are X infinite number of ways you can mess up the inventory because one mistake, one mistype on the keyboard and your inventory is messed up forever until you do your next cycle count, that is. So what you wanna do if you're doing manual data entry, if you don't have a warehouse management system in place, you need to put in a check and a balance. So the way I've seen customers do this before is as follows. For every single warehouse transaction, there is or should be a piece of paper record handed into your back office from the warehouse employees. That piece of paper record must be signed off by the warehouse employee. It comes into the back office and now your, your back office employee starts to hand key the data. 10 bananas, 12 apples, 15 carrots, etc. all the way down the list. Here's the bottom line. The way that you ensure they don't make any mistakes is that you enforce you make them double count everything. And then once they double count every item and validate it versus the initial piece of paper, what they have to do is on the bottom in a custom field in your accounting system, they have, they have to say verified by and the person who verified it. Not just this, they have to print it out and they have to staple it to the original and file it away. Now what happens if somebody makes a mistake, well now they're held accountable because you have an original copy of the transaction and a, hand keyed copy of the transaction stapled together. It may seem a little bit tedious, but if you don't do this, you're running the risk that you're gonna mess up your entire inventory. Your inventory needs to be accurate all the time because one mistake will have to yield an entire count of your whole warehouse. Because you don't have a warehouse management system, you gotta count everything. There's no options to count one little bin or one little item, right? You gotta count the whole thing. So you need to make sure your people don't make any hand keying mistakes. And this is perhaps the number one place where I see a bunch of issues with everyone's inventory.
Hey, look, I hope you really enjoyed that video about how your inventory is getting really messed up and going super over or super short. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments, you thought it was completely out of the realm of reality, everything that I'm talking about, you thought it was nonsense, again, hit me down in the comments. I love to have a dialogue with you and interact. Apart from that, I hope that you have an amazing day. Take care.